Hello, welcome. Today's video is going to be a workshop and the word workshop is used to mean a few different things in relation to writing. So often people talk about writing workshops meaning a feedback space. So someone creates a piece of writing, gives it to other people and then the workshop is the space where everyone discusses that already existing thing. But workshop can also mean a space in which new work is generated. So you can think of a writing workshop as like um, an artist's workshop or a craftsperson's workshop, the space where the making happens. And we're going to be using that latter definition today. So in this video, I'm going to lead you through a sequence of exercises all around the same theme and it's totally fine if you want to dip in and just do one of the exercises and dip out but the aim really is that you do them all in sequence and they build upon each other and by the time we get to the final exercise you'll be kind of primed and absolutely ready to write that last piece. Today's workshop, the first workshop on this channel, is all about hands. Exercise number one. Take your dominant hand, place it on a piece of paper and draw around it with your non-dominant hand. Inside the shape that you have made, Write down every single thing that your hand has touched so far today. Try and absolutely fill the space with those gestures. Did you get up and move the bed sheets off your body? Did you go into the kitchen and fill the kettle and turn it on? Did you use that hand to brush your teeth? Did you use that hand to wash your face? Did you use that hand to get dressed? Has that hand done up buttons today? Depending on what time you do this, this could be a very, very long list. I promise you that if you just keep writing, more and more things will reveal themselves to you. You'll remember more and more things. Pause the video now for five to ten minutes you choose and get everything you possibly can down onto the page. If I was there with you and you were a group in front of me, viewers, I would ask one or two people to share whether anything had surprised them in their list of things. Um, obviously I can't do that but for yourself, take a moment, look over what you've written and just note whether any of those gestures are things that would have been completely forgotten if you hadn't done this exercise. Exercise number two. I'm going to show you a series of pictures of hands and I would like you to first describe what you see. What does this hand look like? Is it hard? Is it soft? Is it calloused? Are the fingers short or long? Are they slim fingers or broad fingers? Write what kind of person you think the hand belongs to. Does it look like a young person's hand or an older person's hand? Does it look like the hand of someone who does hard physical work? Or is it a kind of moisturised and manicured hand? And finally, I want you to allow yourself to invent fragments of story for the hands you see. So if you see a scar, make something up about where that scar came from. If you see a ring or a bracelet, make something up about why this person is wearing those items. What I'd like you to do is press pause after each image and decide whether you want to take five minutes or ten minutes and write these descriptions for each one. OK, 
Okay, here's the next quick exercise. Think of the hands of someone you know and describe them. Your description could be of what these hands look like, but it could equally be what they do. What have you seen these hands doing? Are they always sinking into bubbles to wash the dishes? Are they always working? Are they always knitting? <laughs> Just take three minutes to write about these hands which are not your own, but are really familiar to you. For this next exercise, before you begin writing, I want you to pause. If you're comfortable to do so, close your eyes and travel for a moment into your memory. I'd like you to imagine yourself as a child holding an object that is familiar to you at that time. It could be a toy, it could be a blanket, could be something else. Shuffle through your memory and see if there's anything you can picture yourself holding. Once you have something in your mind, fill in its details. Really picture yourself holding it and feel the weight of it. Feel the shape of it. Feel the texture of it. Look down at it in your hands in your memory. What colour is it? Does it have a particular smell? This could be a super sentimental object or it could be that particular type of plastic fork that was always used in your school cafeteria as you were growing up. Something that your hands know. Pause me now and write about this object for five or 10 minutes. Okay, call to mind an object that is familiar to you from your life now. It might be the handle of a hairbrush. It might be the handlebars of your bike. It might be your phone. <laughs> Don't overthink it, just pick something and take just two minutes to write about this object. Describe it and describe how you use it. Write a list of at least 10 things that your hands have done again and again and again and again and again. Some of these will be generic. Um, we all brush our teeth, I hope. But some will be highly specific to you if you play a sport or you paint or you have animals that you care for or you love to cook. What are the movements you do absolutely all the time? Just take two to five minutes to write that list. And now, I would like you to think about the five most important things that your hands have done. Interpret that as you will. Perhaps it's really important that your hands were the hands that planted a garden or your hands were the hands that painted that picture. Perhaps your hands have held another person's hands to comfort them or to show them love. Five really important things that your hands have done. Pause me now and take five or 10 minutes to write about that. Okay, we have been through several exercises now and one task remains. I want you to tell me the story of a life, to paint a really complete and vivid picture of who a person is, all through describing the actions of their hands. You can write about yourself, tell me your own life story, or you can write about a character, either someone that you know who is in the real world or someone that you invent. Poets, this can be a poem. 
prose writers, this can be prose. I guess you could write a song if any songwriters are out there. If you write non-fiction, make this real. If you write fiction, make it real but in a fictional way. If you don't know where to start, try as an opening line, these hands have, and then just write a long, long list of all the many things that your chosen hands have done. And I'd absolutely love to see the pieces, the stories, poems, whatever they might be, that you come up with. Thanks everyone, I will see you next.